Hey there, fellows. Today I suggest we have some fun with electricity. What exactly do we have in mind? Well, the ignition system of a car... I suspect this might come as a bit of a shocker. It's actually rather interesting. I've heard... that you can take a piece of paper... grab a regular old pencil... go ahead and draw... Um, graphite line on it... And given that, as we're all aware, graphite conducts electricity, you might have even seen us use pencils to make spark plugs a little while back. I actually recall those working pretty well. And if we were to draw a really, really thick layer onto the paper, this line would conduct electricity. And so, why don't we try replacing one of the ignition leads with the something like this? After all, I mean, they do fail every now and then. I have no idea whether this will work, but I do think it is worth a try. We have some paper, a pencil, we have a car. It's got ignition leads, so let's try this out. And see how this works. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so check this out. Here we've got a primitive little system, with a coil, switch, battery, and a paper with a... I just drew a line with a pencil. And let's see what'll happen. This is... essentially the tip of the plug. We'll put the switch right here. It's going to serve as the ground. And let's try this out. Really? Let me get the lights. Oh wow, looks like we have spark. And some of those looked... pretty impressive. You can see it with the naked eye, and hopefully it comes through on camera. Wow, that was a good one. It looks like this works. Let's make some strips then. I don't know, let's draw and cut them out, get them to a car and see how they work. Okay, let's carry on. Pencil drawn ignition leads, will they work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so check this out. The engine is in its stock configuration for now. Fire it up. The engine runs, albeit it is a bit unstable. But I'm fairly sure we'll be able to tell if one of the cylinders were to stop firing. So yeah, switch it off. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got some... Strips of paper smeared in pencil graphite. And that is a lot of graphite. And now we'll go ahead and... Uh, well, for starters, it'll be just one lead. We'll start with one. But which one? Why don't we go with the furthest, the number four? So here's the situation. We've set up this lovely ignition lead for cylinder 4. It'd probably be a good idea not to touch it while... Um, the engine is running. Okay, let's try this out. Reduce the revs. So apparently... I'm not sure if it's working. Although... It is working. It is a bit unstable with this being a slightly ill carburetor. No, not working anymore. 
I think that in order to get a better understanding, shut it off. I reckon we should remove one more ignition lead and replace it with a graphite smothered paper strip. Check this out. We've removed two leads, fitted two strips of paper, and fire it up. Let's see what happens. A bit unstable. But it is running. I'm not even noticing any changes in how the engine is operating. We better take this to the end. I mean, a paper strip with graphite. I don't even see any sparks. Everything is just fine. I don't see spark where it's not meant to be there. Switch it off. That is good. Well, let's remove one more lead and uh, go ahead and fit another strip instead. So at this stage we've removed three ignition leads. Instead we are now running those wonderful strips of paper. Okay, fired up. I can hear it clicking. Yeah, it's misfiring. We have sparks running in between those two. Yeah, switch it off. There was spark actively running between these two, being there so close to each other. And there was spark hitting the distributor. We could try using paper as insulation, I guess. Okay, here's what we've done. At some point we did lose spark, and so we've cut out some more paper, which we've treated with graphite, and now we've got double strips in there, serving as the ignition leads. Go ahead, let her rip. There's your effect. What's going on? What's up? Not all cylinders are firing? I can't say I'm detecting any stray spark. It is running, albeit not on all four cylinders. You'd think that... It's as if the mixture is too rich, like we have too much fuel. The spark is a bit weak and unstable, it appears. Try again, please. Let it rip. Immediately we saw spark as soon as you turned the key. Come on. I see sparks between the strips. They're not necessarily tightly pressed up against each other, so wherever there's less resistance, we are seeing sparks. We should drive around. And let's go. Hey, it drives. It's come too. The mixture was too rich, but now it's able to drive. Yeah, it's pretty unstable. It's lurching around. Here we go. 
It's not great, but the car is moving. And quite happily at that. Isn't that something? Paper strip ignition leads, look at that. Well, with graphite, of course. Engine operation is a bit unstable, but what can you do? What matters is it drives, and that is good. And it idles decently. I mean... It's not even stalling. I know where we should go. The spot's right over there. Let's visit our neighbor's repair shop and ask them to adjust the ignition. I mean, we do have unstable operation, torque dips. What the hell is going on? Yo! Igor, you're an electrician. Something's wrong with the ignition. Can you take a look? You're gonna need a crystal ball to diagnose that thing, Vlad. So what? Take a look, I mean... It ain't running right. I'm afraid to even stick my hands in there. Don't be, you're a fearless dude. Just move the dizzy around a little bit. There are sparks flying all over the place. What do you mean? Those are ignition leads, not strips. What? Are you guys clueless? Don't grab it, it shakes and I can't see anything. Okay. I don't need to rev it. Just give me a second. What gives? See? It's a problem with the leads. I think those leads look fantastic. Just give it a turn, advance, retard. I am not sticking my hand in there. What is it with you? I did promise it'll be a shocker. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay then. Go to our neighbors. What neighbors? We don't care about those guys. Oh, you mean... Don't burn my shop down. They're not igniting, don't you see? Is the graphite maybe burning away? Release the handbrake. Oh yeah, right. I'm used to them not working on these. I can make it out myself. No need to push this marvelous thing. And so at the end of the day, indeed, it is fairly unusual. Yeah, this is not something you'd expect. But this system, I mean, graphite is used for electric motor brushes, as a lot of us know, in starter motors and alternators. It does conduct electricity, after all. And though you do have copper in there as well, in any case, you can use graphite to make yourself something like this. You can turn strips of paper into conductors of electricity. And that is just so cool. And you saw that the car runs and drives even. Amazing. And while we were experimenting, some new ideas occurred to us. In terms of making some functional ignition leads. And if you have any suggestions, by all means. But the paper... And graphite worked wonders. They did really well. Seems like a cool life hack. For when you... Lose an ignition lead. Just replace it with one of these and you're good. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.